Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Today's video is going to be a quick demonstration of a feature that I have not yet seen that appeared in Proxmox 7 or at least I believe appeared in Proxmox 7 because I did not find it in Proxmox 6.4. But rather than doing the steps in our previous setting up a container video where we have to enter the shell terminal and enter various commands, copying and pasting things in order to get a container image, this workflow makes it much easier and simpler for us to actually download images so we can begin creating containers. Now this video will be a short demonstration of doing exactly that. It's not intended for creating a container or anything else, but just downloading the container. So let's go ahead with that and look at downloading the container. So with our basic default system set up, we're not going to have the drive storage or backup, but we should have local or local LVM. Now, if you're doing this on a Raspberry Pi, your LVM volume doesn't get set up, so you'll just have local here. But that's the one we're going to use. So, select local, and then we can select CT templates right here. Now, this will display the downloaded templates that you have. You can see I have Ubuntu 2104 and a Debian. Now, if we click templates, it'll actually bring up all of the templates that are available to us at this time. So you can see all of the different turnkey templates. We discussed using some of the turnkey templates in the next cloud video. And there's various different turnkey templates that you can use. But then here is some mail gateway Proxmox templates so you can run your mail gateway on your Proxmox server as a container and also some different operating systems so like we have Ubuntu here the 2104 that you saw on my system here's some previous there's also Alpine which we've done videos on Rocky Debian and a few others so all we need to do if we're going to download that is just highlight it by clicking on it and press the download button and the download will take effect. No more entering commands in the command line, copy and pasting things. It's just as simple as that using the web interface. I know today's a short video, but I think you'll find this feature very helpful if you have not already discovered it. As always, Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and check out our web store at store.virtualizeeverything.com to continue to support Virtualize Everything in growing and bringing you more up-to-date content on virtualization. With your support, Virtualize Everything plans to grow and cover more operating systems and more in-depth builds so you can learn more about home labs. As always, have a good night.